But here's my thing. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm gonna start off with this, man. I wasn't too excited about the shakedown, and, and this is why. This is why I'm not. family what is going on welcome back to the channel man and if you are new to the channel man thank you guys for um clicking on this video and we want you around for the long haul so make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and we want you around so you can see all the car related stuff that we got going on and if you've already done that I want to thank you guys for doing that and being part of the channel for the long haul man so uh let's not hold you too long let's go and get into the topic of today's video as you can tell we are in a little bit of traffic we got a whole house in front of us blocking both lanes so that's gonna be interesting but let's go ahead and get into the topic of today's video you see the title and you see the thumbnail dodge has revealed the first of seven last call models uh to the public uh, a couple of days ago and it was the shakedown now it, now the shakedown um was not on my list of things i thought it was gonna um reveal and it, it, this is part of the reason why because when i dropped the video when i recorded the video i couldn't find a picture of all the cars covered uh, i looked there where i couldn't find them and then after i posted the video i saw a picture of everything and then i saw the graphics on that particular um car cover I'm like dang i know what that is that's a shakedown um but let's talk about this man so for the shakedown if you're new to mopar things like that uh why is this one a pretty cool model um, and worth bringing back so I think we're back in 2016 or 2017 if I'm not mistaken at SEMA with Dodge okay well we got a whole house in front of us like I said Dodge um, at SEMA they had probably one of the craziest concept cars out there so they did a resto mod um i went well we we'll call it resto mod it is it's definitely worth restoring and definitely was modded so i guess it's a resto mod right so they did that for a 1971 challenger and what they did was they added a whole bunch of the new technology from a newer challenger so they had new tail lights the new headlights like the led headlights and tail lights all that type of stuff updated interior on this older model car and it wasn't shaky, they added the 392 to it as well. And one of the, I don't know why this car tailgated me. I don't like that. But anyway, one of the special things this car wasn't shaking. It had a special graphic on the car where the stripes went down the front of the car, around the shaker, and down the whole center of the car. And they called this car the Shakedown. But here's my thing. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm gonna start off with this, man. I wasn't too excited about the Shakedown. And, and this is why. This is why I'm not really shocked, excited about the Shakedown. To me, when I'm thinking like a throwback color, or not throwback color, but like a throwback model, a throwback trim, or things like that, I'm thinking something a little bit further back than 2017, man, because honestly, we're talking this package or whatever came out during this current gen of cars, right? Like when they, after they did the whole update, the facelift and all that type of stuff, it came out back in 2017, 2018. Um, they already had a shakedown package not too long ago, but it was a little, done a little differently. The shakedown package then um, that, that they came out with was just the black stripes going around the shaker. Um, of course, you can't get in the wide body on the Challenger at that time. But, you know, it, it was something that was just done. So I didn't think it was going to go only go back a couple of years and bring that one, bring, you know, that particular uh, option back or whatnot. But they did do it a little differently this time. Um, back then, well, a couple years ago, I should say, a few years ago, you can get the Shakedown package or any color car. But it looks like on this one, um, you, you only have two options. Either the story gray for the narrow body or for the wide body, you get pitch black. They actually make the Shakedown graphics look exactly like the one on the actual Shakedown car with the little red accent line on that as well. Back when they had the Shakedown package uh, a couple few years ago, they didn't have that line on there. And of course, I'll put pictures of all that uh, and whatnot for you. So let, let's talk about the car. Let's talk about what the car has. Now, I, I already knew, like with these cars, they're not going to do performance upgrades for the 6.4s at all. Um, it pretty much everything is going to be an appearance package until we get to the Hellcats, which is then that's when I think they're going to bump up the power a little bit uh, for that. But this car, like I say, you're going to get a narrow body or a wide body. So you got a total of a thousand that they're going to make. I think they're going to do 500 narrow body, 500 wide body. They're going to do both automatic and manual transmission. I'm not sure how they're going to mix that up. But as far as the features of the car, the car is going to be pretty much fully loaded. Uh, we're going to have the technology package, going to have the carbon, carbon fiber and suede interior, pretty much the plus package on there. Watch out vehicle on shoulder ahead. Bet. But, um, 
it's gonna be pretty much fully loaded. Got the red seat belts. I think it's gonna have the uh, painted brake calipers on the narrow body. They're gonna do the dynamics package on top of that as well. So these cars are gonna be pretty loaded, right? Now, with that being said, with this being, I wanna talk about price real quick. Now, with this being a special model, and knowing how much the cars are worth right now, will, will this car be worth it in the end, right? So let's, so the base price of this car, knowing the likely, it's gonna be about $60,000. Uh, easy, easy. I think both the narrow body and the wide body is gonna be at least $60,000 for a scat pack. To me, that's pretty insane to buy a scat pack for, 60, for at least $60,000. And I'll say at least, right? Because a couple of, a couple factors here is gonna play into that. First and foremost, you got the all the, you, you pretty much just fully loaded. Like we got the plus package, like I said, the carbon fibers and suede interior. You got the technology package. You got all that stuff is gonna be on the car. So the car is going to be loaded. And then on top of that, if with the shake, you gotta add the shaker package and you gotta add the uh, the shakedown graphics and all that type of stuff. So these cars are gonna be pretty steep. On top of that, you got dealership markups to worry about. Who knows what these markups are gonna be now? Will they sell? Probably so because People out there like to do collector's items and things like that, and they want to get the car and hold on to it. Um, however you want to cut it, whether you think it's worth it or not, it's only a thousand of them that's going to be out there. So that automatically does make the car, um, you know, a little bit more rare, right? And as I stated before, like, I'm not really excited about the shakedown. Um, I mean, it's, it's going to look good. Don't get me wrong. It's going to look really, really good. But I wasn't excited about this one because of the fact, like I said, they just came out with it. And I feel like there's other throwback models they probably could have, you know, came out with other than the shakedown. I don't think the shakedown was worthy of it personally, but you know, some, some, there's gonna be people that's gonna like it and people are gonna buy it because like, it's gonna be the one of the last 392 they ever produced. Now with this shakedown, this, this is my rating for it. Um, I, one out of 10, I'm gonna give it like a six or a seven just because of fact, like I said, it, it was something that was, that just came out not too long ago. And there's still people that got shakedowns out there today with that offset strike package and things like that. They also, another thing, that, that strike that, that's on the car, uh, some of the Mopar edition shakers had that same strike on there as well. So it's not it's not like it was something that hasn't been done in a long time. It literally was done a few years ago. All right, just gonna wrap up this video. It's gonna be a really quick video on this one, man. I just wanna talk about the shakedown and my thoughts on it. Uh, we're gonna get another release on next Wednesday, or depending on when you watch this video. And, and that one is going to be a charger, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my guest out for that one. I think that one, if, if I got my dates right, that one has a blue tarp and it has the honeycomb uh, kind of shape and stuff on it. So I do think, I do think that might be the Super B. I, I'm, I'm almost certain that is going to be the Super B that we're going to see uh, released next next Wednesday. Um, I'm more excited about that one because of the fact that the Super B is actually a throwback to uh, back to the 70s, and also they did bring it back, like I said in my other video, back in like 2007 and like uh, 2012, 2014, where they had the Super B there. So that one's going to be a pretty dope one. I'm interested to see what colors they're going to do for that. If it's going to be just certain colors you can do, because I know the Super B most recent ones you have black. Um, it'd be cool if they did plum, plum plate you purple. Uh, it'd be even better if they brought back yellow for that. That would be really cool too. But we're going to see what happens with that. But I want to thank everybody for tuning into this video. Real quick video on the on the shakedown here. We will catch you on the next one. We are out. Got it.